Hey guys, David from Halloween Horror World and Horror Night Update is here with a quick slice of life video in regards to the announcement that we got today from Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood uh, from John Murdy's Twitter and um, the fact that we're getting Insidious and it's coming back this year. Um, I, I, would say, I wouldn't say to the surprise of everyone. I think a lot of people speculated, uh, including myself, that it was coming back this year um, for a number of reasons. One, Chapter 4 is coming out. Uh, also, two... Uh, into the Further and Return of the Further were some of the highest rated mazes, mazes of those respective years. Uh, definitely really enjoyable and it's uh, and with the good relationship, uh, working relationship that Universal has with uh, Blumhouse, I, it was only a matter of time before we get Chapter 4 included in that roster. And I'm okay with this because uh, Insidious is fantastic, though to be fair, I will call myself a hypocrite. Because when I talked about Saw, I was I said I'm sick of seeing Saw coming back. Like, I I know it's been in the past. I'm a bit biased here, to be fair, because uh, torture doesn't scare me. Ghosts and the supernatural to me are more frightening, and they make for more fun mazes, I think. And going from Return of the Further's effects, that hallway alone with the candelabras appearing in the walls as you're transitioning into the Further, mind-blowing. So I can't wait to see what they do this year. Now, uh, it has been announced that uh, it's not just going to be Chapter 4, it's going to be uh, Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3 uh, with compilation. However, the majority will be Chapter 4. So um, we're getting kind of the thing effect here where... Uh, in regards to when The Thing had a film coming out uh, late in October, uh, and The Maze was obviously out before then, we were getting a kind of a sneak preview of that. Now, Chapter 4 comes out uh, in January, I believe January 8th, So, because it, it got pushed back. It was supposed to come out in October, which would have been great to see uh, when I was on holiday for Horror Nights, um, but that's okay, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it. So we're getting kind of a sneak preview of uh, Insidious Chapter 4 through the maze, including uh, kind of a first look at this antagonist. Uh, we've not really had a trailer for the film, so we've, there's not a lot kind of known other than it kind of explores the uh, explores, it's not even a word, um, <laughs> Elise's uh, childhood, which is kind of cool to see um, what kind of catapulted her into um, helping other people. So this means I'm very excited for. Uh, this goes to the roster of Ash vs. the Evil Dead, um, Titans of Terror, and now Insidious. I'm very excited to see. And yes, I am a bit of a hypocrite because um, I did say I was sick of seeing Saw returning and seeing the multiples, and I will take that. That's that's on me. However, Insidious uh, always made me jump whenever I went through that maze. Uh, Saw not so much. So. As for scares, I think Insidious is going to be very successful. And I'm hoping to have a rematch with Specs and Tucker outside the maze at uh, Hunter Ninja Bear, which unfortunately I've not to this year, <laughs> any of the years, won a match. Though it's a lot of fun. And I do hope they bring them back. Uh, I'm, I still have the um, uh, Elise Rayner uh, Spectral Sightings card that they gave out. Um, with the code word, because for those who don't know, John Murdy does something really cool with one of the mazes every, almost every year, where he gives you a Twitter code, and you give it to the character that's outside the respective maze, and they give you a free gift. Now, one of the coolest ones I ever got was a Spectral Sightings card um, from Insidious. I believe it was the first year they did it into the further, and it was really cool. It was a business card with Elise's phone number on, Specs and Tucker. Uh, very cool little memorabilia, and I still have it. Uh, so I'm hoping they do something similar this year, and I, I'm sure if John does another Twitter thing, he might have something in regards to uh, Insidious. Uh, so very exciting. Um, I'm, I'll like with the other two. I'll get around to doing a full video for him. Um, it's just a lot coming out all at once, and it's very exciting. And like I said, I feel bad for the Orlando people because it's really. There's nothing major coming out uh, for Orlando. So those are just my thoughts on Insidious. Very excited. Um, it's made me possibly want to go another day for Horror Nights. I was thinking of doing one because the lineup wasn't really drawing me in. But I may do another uh, day. And I'd like to because I'd like to get some more footage of the um, 
uh, of the event. So, yeah, that's my slice of uh, life video for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I will be getting around to doing some bigger uh, analytic and <laughs> cannot spell. <laughs> I can spell. I cannot speak today. Um, analytical videos uh, for the respective mazes of Titan's Terrace or and now Insidious. Um, I believe we've still got one way, one more maze for uh, Hollywood to announce. So uh, I'm going to keep tracking uh, the uh, the tweets that John puts out, uh, as well as Orlando. I'll, I will be updating that uh, when they come out. So hope you hope to see you guys in the next video.